Hi there, this is uh, Dave Jones from VideoFXUniverse.com and today's tutorial is uh, another requested tutorial and uh, somebody is having problems with the uh, the Starfield preset that comes with 3D Studio Max and I'm just going to demonstrate how to uh, complete this task in making a Starfield with, um, with our video. Now as you can see we have uh, the International Space Station here in my uh, camera viewport if I just uh, maximise that as you can see and uh, if I render this out uh, okay, render. You'll see that um, we have already got a star field in here, but this is not the star field we want to use. So if I just close this down, I'll show you what that is. Uh, if I go to render in environment, we can see my environment map is using stars. This is just basically an image that um, is t turned into a background. Now we don't want to use this because it won't work with the animation. So I'm just going to untick the use map. Okay. Uh, what we want to do, set a keyframe now, go to the end of the video, and I'm just going to move it around slightly. Okay, set a keyframe. Okay, now we have two keyframes and the camera moves. Right, this is how you make your star field. You go up to rendering video post. What you should come back with is uh, this. Uh, this is how it should happen. But If you've, if you've downloaded um, objects or files from the internet and that, you may actually have already preset effects set in here. But, um, okay, so what we're going to do is uh, click on this button here, which is an add scene event. Okay, make sure that your camera is uh, the same. So as you can see, we've got the camera down here in the viewport. Make sure this is exactly the same. Okay. Um, it's up to you if you want to, but I'm going to add scene motion blur. Okay, make sure that your um, your start time and your end time matches your frames as well, because as you can see, we're only using 100 frames here. But if um, I want to add more frames, I can do that by clicking on this and changing the frames. So yep, that's perfectly fine. Not to 100, and click OK. Then what you do is click on here, this button up at the top here. This is basically adding a new image filter effect. So I'm going to click on that, scroll down to the bottom, select star field. Okay. Then you need to click on setup. Again, make sure that the camera matches the camera down here because sometimes it could be perspective or something else, and you don't want that. So make sure that the cameras li link up. Um, also, um, it's completely up to you. But you can also change the um, the lightness of the stars. So obviously, the, the you know if you want to make it the stars more brighter, you can do. You can also change the size of them, and also you can change the amount. As you can see, we have fifteen thousand here. Uh, we can change that to thirty thousand to make it quite a uh, a busy star system. Um, make sure it's set to background, not foreground. Click OK. Click OK. Now you need to uh, select your output device. Okay. If I have a click on that. Okay, make sure again that your frame rates are selected right, 0 to 100, as, as you can see we are using. Um, you might think that I'm um, repeating myself quite often here with this one, but it, there is a good reason because um, a lot of people say oh, the, um, the effect didn't work or the video didn't render out properly, and you'll probably find that's because one of these settings is uh, actually set wrong, where this one will be set from one, 0 to 1, and that's usually the main, main cause of the problem. But anyway, we go up to files, okay, and we're going to save our video, okay. So I'm just going to call it uh, ISS for International Space Station. Um, it's completely up to you which video format you want to use. I do recommend you don't use um, PNG for this. So uh, I'm just going to go for a quick time MOV, save, okay, wait for the, um, the options to come up. Um, it's up to you on how you have your settings. I'm going to go for best. Click OK. Right, the final stage. Make sure that you do not have any of these highlighted as such. Okay, none of these can be highlighted at all. Now click on this button here, which is now uh, make the animation. Here is another problem set to from single. So we want to change it to 0 to 100. Again, I'm repeating myself again, but for a good reason. So 0 to 100, um, OK, change the, uh, the camera, it's up to you what camera settings you want to have, OK, and finally we just click render. Now I'm using a ray trace render for mine, so um, obviously it's going to take a lot longer to do, 
that um, once you see um, this this um, bit here finish doing the um, the space station, it will then put a star field in the back. And there you go. There's the star field in the background, as you can see. Now it's going to go on to the next frame. And that's the tutorial. Okay, but I'm going to cancel out of this be because I don't actually want to um, do a, do the um, the preset star field. Okay, because there is actually an alternative way to do this, and you don't even need to go into video post at all. So if I just come right back out the way here what we're going to do is go to uh, sphere in our standard primitives go into our top viewport here and bring in a massive sphere okay it covers your entire scene um, you can change the segments as you wish not really necessary right now what you want to do is click on M okay and if you can try and find an empty uh, unused slot that hasn't um, already been used as you can see I've found one here right now what I'm going to do is click on this defuse button here click on bitmap and I'm going to find somewhere on my computer there is an there is actually an image of a star field so if I could just find uh, my images star maps and uh, as you can see I've got quite a few star maps here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, this one here click open okay uh, make sure my settings are correct okay right that's fine click on two sided and then I'm going to click add to the star field okay now what this is doing is actually creating a star field on the sphere and if I just render this I'm actually going to change my uh, my render here because I don't want to use V-Ray I'm going to use my standard and my standard again and just render this out as you can see we have a star field made on a sphere see so you can do it via the video post or you can create a sphere and add a material to the sphere make sure it's double sided um, as you can see uh, two sided and uh, you've got a star field that way as well so there's two ways to do everything um, you know, so obviously if you're having problems with the uh, the video post um, effect filter for the star field, you can also make a sphere and uh, assign a material to it, and it has exactly the same effect. Um, obviously, if the stars are too blurry or too big, you can change the size of the sphere. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, but yeah, that, that's the tutorial. My name's Dave uh, from VideoEffectsUniverse.com. Thank you very much for watching.